And uh, you were up 11 at half, had to fight your way through we a 12 0 run, and then you uh, made some enough free throws down the stretch. Yeah, we've, uh, I told Dustin, I just, uh, I may have to fire him, Jerry, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he came up with, you know, we haven't played very well to start second halves. And uh, so he says, maybe we're out there, five minutes is too long. Let's try to bring him out with three. I said, okay, we brought him out with three. They blitzed us again. I said, four, that was a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, we got to get that cleaned up. We got to be a lot more consistent. Um, uh, than we are to start second halves right now. I thought we did some good things. I thought they played great. You know, a team that makes 20-some percent on threes went nine for 15. Um, I thought Dominique Matthews was terrific in the first half. I mean, he had the game of his life. Um, I thought they were well prepared. They had great energy, um, and, they, and, uh, and they played well. So I'll give them a lot of credit. I, I, I give our guys credit, too, because you get down one, you know, in a, in a game where, you know, all of a sudden it's like, do you, do, you, do you get tight? Do you play with poise and make the plays you need to make to win the game? And the kids did. I mean, they really did. They got started getting some stops. We'd have problems, as you guys saw, guarding the dribble the majority of the day today. We've got to be better there. Um, but I thought we got some stops. We made big free throws. I thought Hill was huge late. We called his number a lot, and he made play after play for us. Uh, I thought he and Nunn were both really efficient. You know, their game plan was obviously to take both those guys away. They denied them, and I thought we got pretty good shots. I thought Finky was really good in the first half, and we and we only – how many turnovers, Jerry? Was it 11? 11? Yeah, a little mm -hmm. bit too many there towards you because we had three, I think, at halftime. Yep. And obviously we're being selfish with that number because we're one of the nation's best at taking care of the ball. Mm -hmm. But 18 to 11, now how about the point guard play? 12 to mm -hmm. 2 assist to turn. Yep. So we did some good things. We're going to have to – main thing is I told them that um, – we're not going to allow winning to be a deodorant mm -hmm. to cover yeah. up what st stunk. That's a new one. I'm done. <laughs> done. I, you know, I, I, I'm going to look at it on the film, and we're going to see what we didn't do very well. We're going to address it tomorrow, and then we're going to look at the things we did well. And we're going to commend uh, our guys for that. I'm going to be real with them. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, we get above 500. It's three in a row, and it uh, gets us a little bit of momentum. We played 11 games in 30 days. And now we play two games in 17 days. Mm -hmm. Guys have finals this week, and, you know, that, that gives us a chance to finally practice a little bit as well as get some more days off so we can get rejuvenated mentally and physically. You had some uh, guys you mentioned making plays. Malcolm at the end, uh, Nunn hit a couple of shots, free throws. And then Lewis was real poised, I thought, fed patient, fed Maverick down late. He did. Just kind of controlled the ball late. I, I, I thought. thought he played really well. That may be about as good a game as he's played offensively for us. And it was better defensively. I challenged him after Wednesday night's Yale game, and he was better at that end as well. Uh, I, I thought Khalid was a big part of the win. Well, I think the one thing that he did was he was aggressive when it seemed like everybody else was standing around once it became a five-point lead. He made a layup, then got fouled, and I think he made a mistake but it was his aggressiveness that helped keep you in the game at that point. No question, at both ends of the floor. So I, I, he had a good look about him today. I was, uh, I was happy for him. You know, we're lucky because him and Tate kind of, you know, they basically play that position for us. And on one, on a given night, like tonight, it was 25 uh, minutes to 15. Yeah. It might be the reverse on another night. It might be 20-20. It might be, you, you know, you might play them together for a minute or two. Those two guys know that. They don't pout. Um, they, they know that we need both of them. Uh, and, uh, and it's great that we have the ability to be able to play both of them in that role. You talk about Jalen coleman Land's last game against Yale, getting the shots that he could easily make, same shots he made them tonight. He did, and not only did he make them, the thing that was different about tonight, and obviously I have to watch the film because sometimes with freshmen, you start making shots, you play better on the other end. But I thought tonight he took charges, he dove on loose balls, he gave up less threes in his gap, he didn't run in and help. He learned. He was better. That, that's the best he's played defensively in a while. Now, what we've got to make sure is he does that all the time, whether his jumper's going in or not. Mm -hmm. You know, today he had both going. I thought he, he is 27 minutes. I thought he was really good at both ends of the floor. I think he had the 14 in the first half, and you can see his ability to stretch the floor from different angles on the floor. No question. He's, he was half. really good. And I thought he had a couple good looks in the second half. He just didn't go down. And we didn't shoot free throws w real well in the first half either. It's 11 at the half, but we were 8 or 9 for 17. A couple of them were 1-1s. One like, you know, we got, we got to step up and make a couple more of those, or it could have been 15-ish. 
you know, at, at, at the half. And, uh, and maybe that gives you a little bit more distance and has more of an effect on the game. So we've got to do that. But I thought we needed to be tougher in and around the box, the, ball, uh, the rim. Ball got taken out of our hands too much. I thought they were really physical. Uh, you know, three or four of our freshmen, I thought, got punked a little bit physically on some plays, got jarred and jolted. And uh, those will be good weight room clips for the offseason. All right. I know they're in the middle of finals more next week. And then uh, a week from now, we'll play again. So, That's exactly uh, good luck. right. Yeah, thanks. See you guys. Okay.